Mrs. Chilton, how are you? In my blocks, waiting for the starter's pistol. I hope the delay in your departure isn't proving too taxing. Oh, it's hard to complain with all these poor injured people. Right. I take it you're not here to send me on my way? Afraid not, no. <laughs> Dear. Actually, the paperwork for your medication appears to have gone missing. So I can't get my drugs? Not at present, no. <sighs> Never mind. It's very stoic of you. So long as I get to rest my head on my own pillow tonight. I sincerely hope that will be the case. Excuse me? Yes, how can I help you? I'm looking for my wife. Is she a patient on the ward? She was hurt at Belfield Market. Right, what's her name? Catherine Clark. She shouldn't be here. Why not? She's got viral cardiomyopathy. She belongs on the heart ward. Hello. What are you doing here? Oh, um, I just thought I'd get out of everybody's way. Would you like me to go? No, not at all. Mind if I join you? Oh, please, feel free. Thank you. <clears throat> Hard-boiled egg. Thank you. I don't mind if I do. What was the health system like when you were a boy in Sweden? Not dissimilar to here, as a matter of fact. Really? Though without that love-hate thing that the British do so well. Mm, we do like a good moon. None more so than your more senior citizens. Cheek. I rather admire it. Really? Yes, nothing beats an elderly patient with stories to tell and opinions to offer. Ah, it's nice to know you actually see us oldies. Far superior to the vacuity of youth. <laughs> I doubt if I'd have survived childhood without the NHS. No? Yeah. Caught every disease under the sun as a girl. Diphtheria. Um, scarlet fever. TB. Quite a collection. Spent six months in an oxygen tent at one point. Really? Mm. There was this nurse, Bob, I think her name was, and she used to come and read to me at every single tea break she had. How wonderful. Animal Farm was my favourite. Ah, oh, no, it was more Pippi Longstocking in our house. I'm... I'm so grateful for the care I've had here, you know. You're very welcome. I will be able to cope at home. Oh, yes, you will, with a little help. Though I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared. Well, I'm sure your grandson will be keeping an eye on you. An eye? He'll be all over me like jam on a crumpet. Shall we? Oh, thank you. Now allow me. Oh. 